What if your next million dollar marketing move is hiding in a random online comment? With the automation I'm about to share, you'll be the first to catch new trends and spot hidden market gaps. So you can cash in before your competitors even know what's happening. I built an AI system that uncovers every opportunity, threat and shift in your market. It's built on a powerful principle called context engineering. Instead of letting the AI draw from its vast generic knowledge, you feed it a small potent dataset, turning it from a generalist into a laser focused specialist for your exact problem. It's the only way I know to guarantee you never miss a business changing signal again. Let me ask you this, how much time do you waste digging for what customers want? Imagine if you could plug in a simple agent that scans the most brutally honest place on the internet, Reddit, and delivers the cold hard market truth straight to your inbox. But you're not limited to just one data source. You could chain multiple agents together, one for Reddit, another for Amazon reviews, a third for your customer support tickets. You don't need any expensive subscriptions or coding skills to get these results. And I'll show you exactly how I built this using NNN in under 15 minutes. Build this once and you'll have a real data advantage over every competitor who's still doing research the old way. But stay with me because here's what almost everyone gets wrong and where the real power of context engineering comes in. Market Intel by itself is worthless unless you turn it into a strategy tailored for your business. In this tutorial, I'm showing you both steps. First, how to engineer the context by pulling real world data. And second, how to feed that context into an AI to turn it into a clear marketing plan you can use right away. By the way, you don't have to build this from scratch while trying to follow along. I've put together a complete setup guide and the NNN workflow JSON file for you in my drive. You can grab it for free from the link in the description below, so you can import it and get started immediately. Ready to change how you do marketing forever. Every powerful automation begins with a single question. When should it run? Since our goal is to create a hands-off system that delivers strategy while we sleep, we'll start with a simple schedule trigger. Click the plus button, search for schedule and add it. I'll configure this to trigger the automation weekly every Monday at 8 a.m. to deliver our strategy for the week ahead. You can choose any of these intervals if you'd want it to run daily or perhaps only monthly. It all depends on your niche. To make building and testing easier, we'll also add a manual trigger. Now for the first brain of our operation. Add a new node and search for the AI agent. This will be our market signal agent responsible for all the research. Define the user message below and just type something like let's go. It doesn't really matter since the agent runs completely automated without any user input. Now for the most important part, let's add the agent's instructions. I have this full system prompt linked in the description for you to copy and paste. For this demo, I created a fictional protein brand, but you'll need to adapt this for your own business. In the setup document, I've highlighted the exact parts that you need to change. Let me show you. First, look at the context section. It currently says you are the intelligence gathering arm for Daily Dose Protein with a short description of their business. You need to replace that with your own company's info. This gives the agent its core identity. Next, and this is crucial, look at the task section under instructions where it says formulate a diverse research plan. This is where we tell the AI what to search for. I've given it several examples relevant to a protein company like searching for vegan protein, protein taste and the best protein for weight loss. This section you'll need to customize the most. Think about your own business. What are the broad terms? common problems and specific goals your customers have. The key is to give the agent a diverse list of 5 to 10 natural language search terms that a real customer would use. 
This makes the research unbiased and powerful. Finally, the prompt instructs the agent on how to use the Reddit search tool, instructing it to search for specific subreddits for niche communities. You can customize the example subreddits here to match your industry perfectly. To find ideal communities, head to Reddit and search for what your customer would search. Sort by communities and look for larger, more active subreddits. By customizing these key areas, your brand context and the search terms, you are tuning this powerful agent to work specifically for your business. Once you've pasted and adapted your prompt, your agent is almost ready to go. Next, we need to give our agent its research tool. Just click on this plus under tool and search for Reddit. To set up the credentials, you'll need to create a Reddit account and then head to this URL. Click on create an app, give it a name, some description, you don't need an about URL, and under the redirect URI, head back to N, create new Reddit credentials and copy this link right here. I'm not a robot, sure? Then click create app. This string on the web app is your client ID. And here is your client secret. Copy these, head back to N and paste them right here. Hit save, then you have to log in to authorize your Reddit account. Set the resource to post. The operation will be search and for the location, all of Reddit. We'll let the agent define the keywords dynamically by clicking these stars. For the limit, I chose 10, but you could play around with that number if you'd like to gather more posts on each keyword search. Add an additional field and sort it by hot. This way, we'll always get the most relevant results. Now, the only thing left is a chat model. I'll choose OpenAI, but you could also use Gemini or other LLM providers. If you've never added OpenAI credentials before, I've linked some resources in the description to help you out. For the model, I'll use GPT 4.1 Mini for its speed, huge context window, and cost effectiveness. Let's test the workflow and see if everything works as intended. Great, you can check the logs to see what the agent searched for on Reddit. And here you can check the output. Make sure to pin the data. This will help you build out the rest of the workflow without wasting any API credits. Okay, with our first agent configured, let's give it a place to save its findings. For this, we need two Google Docs nodes. One to create a new document, then another one to insert the output of our agent. Add a Google Docs create a document node. If you've never set up any Google credentials, I've also linked a super easy setup guide below. Choose the drive folder where you want to save these reports. Next, give it a title. I'll use an expression to make it dynamic. Let's give it a formatted date like this with voice of customer analysis. Then click test step to create a new document. Next, add another Google Docs node, but this time to update the document we just created. For the document URL, use this expression to get the ID from the previous step. And in the text field, we'll drag in the output from our AI agent. This will paste the full JSON research into our newly created document. All right, the research part of this automation is now finished. We know exactly what the market wants. We got our customers' core pains, underlying fears, stated desires, deeper aspirations, common objections, and the customer lexicon with actual quotes from those Reddit posts. But for our next AI agent, the strategist, to do its job, it needs to know more than just the market. It requires a complete understanding of our own product catalog. This step is crucial because it's where we build the bridge between the customer's problem and our solution. To do this, we'll use a simple Google Sheet as our product catalog. Let me show you what I've set up. As you can see, I've created columns for the product name, target personas, key benefits, the USPs, and importantly, a column called Sauce Pains and the available flavors for this demo. 
but you'll need to adapt these columns to whatever makes sense for your brand. These parts are really important, since this is the data that helps our strategist align market opportunities with our solution. Now, let's pull the data into our N8N workflow. First, add a Google Sheets Get Rows node. Once you've created your own product catalog sheet, select your credentials, then choose your document and the correct sheet right here. Click Test Step. You can see that this outputs a separate item for each product in our catalog. For our next step, we need all this information bundled together into one single package. To do that, we'll add an aggregate node. In the parameters, set the aggregate option to all item data. And let's name the output product catalog. Now click test step. Perfect, you can see that now we have all of our products neatly combined into a single item to feed into the AI agent. With that, we have both pieces of critical intelligence ready to go. The complete voice of the customer from our first agent and our product catalog. Now we're ready to build our strategist. Add a basic LLM chain. For this, we don't need an AA agent node. This step doesn't require any external tool calls. First, let's define the user message below. You can just copy and paste this message from the docs. One important detail, if you're referencing aggregated data, like here from our product catalog, you'll need to wrap the expression in JSON stringify. That's because the AI agent expects a string of plain text, not a structured object or array. If you don't stringify it, the agent will just receive object object and won't be able to read or understand the actual content. Okay, now for the instructions. Add a system message. I'm pasting the full prompt from the docs. This prompt instructs the AI to act as a world-class consultant, to cross-reference market data with our product catalog and to create a comprehensive, actionable marketing briefing. For the chat model, add another OpenAI node. This time I'll use GPT 4.1, as it's handling the heavy strategic thinking. Okay, now let's see if our workflow functions correctly. The test workflow. All right, great. Here you can see the final output, our strategic marketing briefing. Again, pin the data so you're not wasting any API credits. Okay, now the final steps are about delivering this beautiful report as an email. Add a markdown node. We'll set the markdown field to get the text output from our strategist with this expression. This node will convert the markdown output from the last AI node into clean HTML for our email. Make sure to click test step. Great, here you can see the converted text. Next, we'll add a Google Drive download node to get the document of our latest voice of customer report into our workflow to then attach it to an email. For the file ID, drag this expression to get the ID from our very first Google Docs node. Hit test step. Okay, here we can see our downloaded file. Finally, add a Gmail send a message node. Set the to field to your email address. For the subject, we'll use a dynamic expression, but you can change it to whatever you'd like. For the message, look up the markdown's output on the left side and drag in this exact expression. Click on Options and append NNN attribution. Turn it off to not get a this message was sent from NNN in your mail. Also, add attachments and leave the field as data, which sends along the document we downloaded in the drive node from earlier. Okay, now let's run this workflow one more time. Great, we can see that everything functions correctly and that our email was sent. And if you check your inbox, you'll find this beautifully formatted strategic market briefing with the voice of the customer analysis attached. But here's where it really gets powerful. This document isn't the final product. In my next video, we'll feed this entire strategic plan into a second AI, an automated copywriting agent. 
you won't want to miss that. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell because that's when this system truly becomes an automated marketing machine. The only thing left to do is to unpin all the data and set the automation live. So there you have it, a system that turns raw data into a real competitive advantage. Don't forget to click the link in the description to grab the free Anit and workflow and the setup guide. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.